Hello, what is up guys? Evil Duo Sarm here today, back with another Black Desert video. Today's video, we'll be taking a look at the most recent patch that came to Black Desert on September 9th of 2020. We'll take a look at all of the events, all the major updates that came with this patch so that you can take full advantage of all the free crap, including some free pen accessories because I am a total clickbait person. So real quick before we get into it, if you're new to the channel, new to Black Desert, or you've been watching videos on the channel and you still have not subscribed yet, please consider it. It helps to grow the channel and I would greatly appreciate it. Without further ado, let's get into it and let's take a look at the first thing that I clickbaited you on and that is the free pen accessories. So if you navigate to your challenge tab on your season character here in Black Desert, it has to be on a season character and the challenge tab is located down in the bottom right corner of the screen or you can press the P key on the keyboard and click on the challenge icon right here. You will see that there are two season black spirits gifts for a pen tubula earring and a pen tubula ring. These accessories are rewarded for level 60 and 61 on your season character. If you still haven't hit level 60 or 61 on your season character, you should totally check out my leveling guide that I have on my channel. It's kind of like the thing I'm famous for. But yeah, some free awesome accessories. They are better than anything you get for playing through the story in Black Desert. And as an added bonus, if you go ahead and claim this pen at Tuvalu Ring right here by clicking the claim button, open up your Black Spirit, click on the chat tab and show him the stronger Tuvalu Ring, even though it's a pen, it still completes the task for showing a try. So you get a free completion without having to do any RNG upgrades on accessories here in Black Desert of the Equipping Tuvalu Adventure Gear number two quest here with your Black Spirit, which is awesome because accessories suck to upgrade. And obviously you can only equip this pen tubular ring on your season character, which sucks for now. But once again, when you graduate your season character, you'll be able to trade over a set of tubula gear, just like you could last season to the main servers to be used on your character. So in like two months, when you decide to graduate, you basically have another Kabocha ring for your entire account to use. So once again, 100% worth leveling up a season character to level 61 this time around. Now in that same challenge tab that we were just in, if you scroll down like an extra quarter of an inch, you're going to see some free compensation rewards here on the NA and EU versions. First one's this Palong's gift for you. You can click a button here and get your free crap, so make sure to claim that. And then the second item that's going to happen every single day until October 14th is this Autumn Seasonal Enhancement Aid right here. So every single day for the next like month and four days, make sure to click this claim button and claim that free crap. It is refined magical black stones that are used for guaranteed upgrades from Pry through Try for Tuvala gear. Speaking of free stuff, there's also a drop rate buff going on here in Black Desert for the next week. So on the NA version of the game, it is a drop rate of plus 30%. On the EU version of the game, it is a drop rate of plus 20%. This applies to all servers in the game. However, it does not apply to gathering or fishing. Sorry, I guess. Also note that during the same exact week, September 9th through September 16th, all world bosses have a double drop rate of their boss weapon boxes. So double chance of getting that Zarka weapon that you've been trying for or whatever item you're trying to get from these different bosses. The next event we're going to take a look at is this Layton Strikes event. So this Layton Strikes event is for all characters level 50 and above. From 50 to 55, you get an easier version of this little mini boss that goes and spawns around in the world of Black Desert. 56 and above, you got to play the full on version and knock it down. For defeating this boss, you're going to get an event, Layton's Artifact Chest. You get the same chest regardless if you're a level 52 character and beat the easier version, or if you're like level 75, you're still going to get the same box, and you're probably also both going to get the same Cron Stones from that box as well. But hey, maybe, maybe, just maybe, if you're feeling lucky, you can pick up a Duo Layton's Power Stone. So neat little bonus crap for killing stuff that already spawns around where you are. Do note that they are not going to spawn on the Olvia, the Arsha, or the Season servers here in Black Desert. And another nice bonus is that if you die to this little world boss mini boss thing, there are no penalties for you. So you don't lose your crystals or EXP loss or anything like that. Let's see, I think this is the next thing that I clickbaited in the title, and that's going to be the Hashin Awakening in Succession, releasing on PC next week. So six days from when this video goes live, you'll get both Succession and Awakening for the Hashin and oh my goodness. So I already played The Awakening on console and it is insane. I absolutely love it a million times. There's a little preview video on this. All of these are gonna be linked in the description below. So just navigate to this one if you wanna watch it. It's insane, I love it. I played it on console, it is so much fun. But then I saw this succession video that they just came out with this for as well and like, oh my gosh, this looks insane as well. I honestly, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Like, I'm so confused right now, I can't even speak my words correctly right now. And to avoid any copyright issues, I am not going to show either of these clips, so you got to watch it yourself. You really that you really have to take the freaking minute out of your day to watch this. But yeah, Succession Awakening coming next week. They will probably come with level up events like they usually do. The level up events are usually pretty dank free rewards. They're also usually to level 61, so if you can get your hash into level 61, you can instant complete the leveling event before it even starts. The next event we're going to take a look at here is going to be the Twitter event. So every single day on the Black Desert News Twitter, they are posting a new Black Desert code that you can redeem for free crap to help upgrade your seasonal character. So if you bought the game on the website, so you didn't buy through Steam, anyone who did not buy the game through Steam, 
you're going to click the link in the Twitter. It's going to pop you over to the Black Desert website. You log in, you put in the code. If you bought the game through Steam instead, you press the escape key on the keyboard, navigate to the community tab, and then you will see the redeem button here. And I need to close that out because it gives away my email address and I doxed myself on a live stream the other day. So every single day there is a new code. Make sure to enter that, redeem your free crap every single day. And the final event that hit PC is a free cosmetics event. And as we all know, fashion is the true end game in any game. So this is like fantastic. Anyway, for completing any main story quest area, so if you press the O key on the keyboard, click the main tab and see all the different main quests, every single main story area save for Valencia. After completing it, when you talk to your Black Spirit, you will have a new main quest available to you, and they are various outfits that you can pick up here. So all of these outfits are named after a person, but they just correspond to different armor that you can already get in the game. So if I click this Bolaños outfit box here, it's going to give me a random honorable outfit box. What you want to do first is open up the honorable outfit box because this is an RNG outfit box for some reason right off the start. So this first one, you hit open only one. Doesn't matter what you get because you're going to get the other two here in a second. So this gives you Shield's outfit box. Next, you go ahead and talk to the Black Spirit again, and this is going to complete the selection quest for completing the Serendia storyline. So I already got a Shield's box, so now I got to get a Clea's box. Confirm. Then when I go ahead and talk to the Black Spirit for main quest again, the next option says Ali's outfit box. But really, I just get to pick, and I'm going to choose Ali's outfit box this time around. And the other outfit boxes, you don't have a choice, so you can't screw anything up, which is great. So anyway, I've got all the outfit boxes I can get on this character right here and ready to go. So when you pop all these open, you're going to get an outfit. So I'm just going to go ahead and pop all these open. And as you can see, these all correspond to different outfits that you can get in Black Desert already. So if you've got like the Dim Tree Spirits armor and you don't like looking like a tree, say you like the Lemoria armor instead, you can put the Lemoria armor on, and now your character has Lemoria armor. Or if you like the Grunnel armor better, you can use the Grunnel armor. It basically lets you reskin your character's armor. They're not anything super fancy, amazing outfits, but they're a lot better than looking like a tree, in my opinion. So if you don't like the way your armor looks, you can reskin it to one of these different armors. Also, for picking any four of these pieces, you get the following set effect bonus, attack speed plus two and casting speed plus two. So you even get an outfit effect bonus for these. This is actually a huge quality of life improvement, and I'm kind of surprised it's even been added into the game. And yes, you can do this on all of your characters. It's not limited to just one. Every single character, whenever you complete the story, can go ahead and do these quests and get these outfit armor reskins so you don't have to look like a tree on all your characters. So here it is on my hashtag just to show you. I went ahead and picked them up on him. And because console players are always disappointed when I don't cover information about the console version of the game, we're also going to throw another quick little console notes coverage here. So your last update was on September 4th to the console version of the game. But real quick to cover events that are already going on on the console version of the game. If you log in and go to your Pearl Shop, you will see a free boss gear box. You can click a button and get free boss gear. Have to be level 58. That's available in your Pearl Shop. So that's this Black Desert PS4 first anniversary event. You also have the Written in the Sand event, so for completing the Hashishin Awakening questline over on the console version of the game, you get a value pack for one week. And that event also gives you an advice of Valks plus 50, so really, just go ahead and get your Awakening before September 16th on the console version of the game. Next, you have Dream Horse event part 2, so we covered Dream Horse event part 1 in our last video, last patch notes video. This is part 2, and this is basically the Imperial Horse training event that we got on Black Desert like 4 or 5 months ago on the PC version of the game, and I literally made a video about Imperial Horse training, so this video now applies to you. I'm going to be honest with you, nothing too crazy on it because a tier 7 horse is just going to make your hard drive wish you never installed Black Desert as it tries to load everything with how fast you move. But if you want to partake in it or if you have an SSD on your PlayStation or Xbox and can load this thing fast enough, then you can get yourself a tier 7 horse for a little bit of effort. Your other event is the Onward to Crow's Nest event and this one came to console not too long ago and I literally rage quit in the middle of my video and said go watch someone else's video because I'm not doing this. So have fun with this one. I'm not even bothering to cover it. But anyway, guys, that's going to do it for this video. So I do hope you found something useful out of it. There's a ton of cool events. You got these free outfits to reskin your character. You got those pen accessories that you can pick up over on a season server. We got the hashishin coming next week. Tons of cool stuff. Make sure you get all the free stuff in the challenges menu. Really take full advantage of this. This is one of the better patches we've had in a long time on the PC version of the game. If you did find the video useful, if it's going to help you to progress in Black Desert, let me know in the comment section below. Make sure to leave a like. And if you're not subscribed to the channel already, please consider it helps to grow the channel, and you'll stay up to date when new videos like this come out. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. I will see you at the next live stream over on Twitch, the next YouTube video, or wherever I happen to see you. Dice. All right, so here's the deal, guys. It is 1030. I am exhausted. This quest has sucked my soul. I don't want to even play Black Desert for the rest of the day today because of how confusing this has been. But anyway, here's what you need to do if you want to finish this stupid quest line. This YouTuber right here, Chris Pauly, has a guide going through the entirety of the event questline, so if you're really heck-bent on completing it, then there you go.